What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since I posted the video and there's been a lot of reasons because of that. Most of you guys know me as quote unquote Mustang Mitchell. That's what my channel name is. That's what my Instagram name is. That's what I've had the most of. I had three Mustangs, two three valves and one 5 .0. And so I bought a car that none of you would expect me to buy that I have had friends with and that I have enjoyed for many years in the past but I never was able to find my own. I right, welcome to you guys, welcome to the channel. My brand new, to me, E36. And I know what you're thinking, it's a lot different. It may not be your cup of tea, but it's not everyone's cup of tea and that's okay. I got the car for an amazing deal, so I decided why not do it? If I don't like it, I could sell it and I will, it's gonna be hard to lose money on this car for me. So I went out on a limb, bought the car, flew down to Phoenix, um, we looked at it. It was for sale for a lot longer than I thought it would be and then uh, we offered the guy Half of what he had it posted for and he took it. So let me give you a quick walk around of my new E36 So here we are back roads of Colorado beautiful pine trees in the uh, Background it's been the dead of winter and today it was 60 something degrees So I decided why not get out and go ahead and film this car So let me give you a quick rundown on the car it is a 1994 BMW 325 IS, so it's not the M3, it's not the 328, it's 325, which has the, the M50, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm new to BMWs. I saw it, and initially I wasn't super excited about it. It had a spare on it, it was pretty run down, it wasn't cleaned, it wasn't, you know, taken care of, so I didn't want to at first. I came, looked at it, he had it listed for $4,000. And I will get into why that was already a good deal in a moment. We went and checked it out for $4,000. And I went ahead and offered him $2,500 with the help of Sam and Jackson. And he accepted, which I would not expect. And let me tell you why that is incredible for this car. This is a 1994 325 IS, like I stated. It's extremely clean. It has one scratch here. It dents here. I'm sure most of you already saw and one small dent here and then two small dents on this other quarter panel over here that you can barely see but it was a clean clean car the paint is in better condition than my mustang my 2014 mustang was when i bought it it's really just cared for and it was a phoenix car it was from phoenix arizona so it's very surprising that the sun didn't fade it out and it it was obviously kept under shade or in a garage or somewhere where the paint wouldn't fade. But then the other kicker is it was a one owner car with 98,000 original miles. So it being just under 100,000 miles and a one owner car for 2,500 bucks, I could not resist. So 2,500 bucks, I'm like, I can't lose a penny on this. Might as well get it. So we got it and that next day, Sam sold me his lowering springs off of his M3 that he's currently building. I'll put a link to his channel and Instagram in the description below. Go check out his build process as it is going to be quite the build. I bought the uh, lowering springs off his car and I bought old BBS style fives off Patty, which also has a clean E36. So these are style fives there, fully restored. And I just, they, they fit the car very very well they look classy and you know they just match with the gold the gold is an old man color i was not expecting to like it it's kind of up in the air but it does look classy it does look fancy per se this car was bought in beverly hills at beverly hills bmw which is really cool i both those fog lights broke during uh, transportation getting it back to Denver but BMW of Beverly Hills is where the car was originally sold in 1993 it's kind of it kind of feels like I stole it a little bit now like I said I'm not an old Beamer aficionado I don't know everything about these cars and I'm open to help and learning so if you got any advice tips anything that I could take home knowing about this car please let me know in the comments below i know they have some overheating issues there's some i should probably go through the cooling system before it hits like 100 110 000. and i do know that otherwise the m50 is a pretty sol solid motor so correct me where i'm missing up messing up um once again shout out to the boys down in arizona for helping me find this and complete the deal bring it home so yeah let me know in the comments any thoughts you have what you want to see what you Notice I messed up on maybe saying and other than that, I'll see you guys next video.
Peace. But now you're out of town.